for today's video, we're going to open up my last seven birthday llamas. But before we open those llamas, I did want to point out that we're going to be getting a new mythic outlander called Ragnarok. And I tried looking up this outlander on Storm Shield 1, but I wasn't able to find him or his abilities in the database. But yeah, this is what the new Ragnarok mythic outlander looks like. And the description that came with him in the news update says that he has a ground shattering ability, seismic impact. And they'll most likely include more information about this new mythic outlander in the patch notes. So as soon as they release the patch notes, I'll leave a link to them in the description. But yeah, we'll try to get some gameplay with Ragnarok tomorrow. Anyways, like I said, for this one, we're going to be opening up our last seven birthday llamas. Uh, before we get started, I believe I own around 98 to 99% of everything that's in the game. A couple of heroes that I am missing is Mega Base Kyle. And we actually have enough to recruit him. But I kind of want to see if we can get him from this birthday llama. And we're also missing Master Grenadier Ramirez. And again, we do have enough resources to recruit her. But I kind of want to see if we can get her from the birthday llama. So yeah, those are the only two items that I know of that I'm missing. Uh, if there's any other items that I'm missing, be sure to let us know in the comments below. But uh, those are the two things we're going to try to get with our last seven birthday llamas. And with this first one, we got a troll centurion hawk, who was a hero from the first Survive the Storm event. And we also got the Copperhead Clipper Spear, which I believe is one of the scavenger weapons from the first Horde Bash event. So evidently, these were a couple items that we were missing, but now we have them. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up another one. And I'm really curious to see what else we're missing, because I feel like we have almost everything. Uh, let's see what we get from this one. An epic vendor tech pulse rifle. Epic defender. We got Raider Headhunter which I do own the epic version of, so that's not really new. We also own the Vendor Tech Pulsar, which is the legendary version of this pulse rifle. So we didn't get anything new from this one. Let's see what we get from this one. Again, the main things that I want are either Mega Base Kyle or Master Grenadier Ramirez. So let's go ahead and fast forward this part. Here we go. Uh, we got another Lobber Survivor, Test Shot Jess, Epic Survivor, legendary piston spitter and we do have the epic version of that piston spitter but we didn't have a legendary version of it so i guess it's new but not really because we could have just upgraded the rarity of our epic version i kind of want something new though let's try to get something new with this one vendor tech disintegrator again that's another weapon we have an epic version of uh, but there are the rolls that came with the disintegrator and we also have the legendary version of flash eagle eye so yeah we didn't really get anything new with that one so yeah i think once you own everything you're mainly just going to get like uh, different versions of the stuff that you already own like different rarity of it uh, let's see what we get from this one oh okay battlehound jonesy uh, we do have reskinned versions of him but we were missing battlehound so I'm going to go ahead and consider that as a new item. And we do already own the legendary and epic versions of the buzz cut. So we did get a new hero from this one or a reskinned version. Anyways, here's our last birthday llama. And I'm kind of disappointed. We didn't get any mythics from these llamas. Uh, I've been playing this game for over a year and I've never received a mythic from any type of llama. And both of these legendary items are items that I already own. We already have the Copper Whisper, as well as a couple of Berserker Soldiers. Not this particular skin, but we did already own a couple of Berserker Soldiers. Alright, well I believe this is the last Birthday Llama, so let's go ahead and open it and see what we get from it. I thought that last Llama was the last one, but evidently this is the last one. Let's see what you get when you already own everything. Let's see what we get. We may open up another one, I'm not sure. A uh, Thunderstrike Scorch, a Legendary, oh, we're going to have to choose for this one, between a Pulverizer and a Pummeler. Okay, so we already have both of these. Let's go ahead and get another Pulverizer. That's one of my favorite melee weapons. We also got a Legendary Survivor. Okay, so yeah, when you own everything, evidently you just get duplicates of items you already own. All right, so I am going to open up a couple of these Lucky 7 Llamas just to get some more uh, birthday tickets. Uh, the first one I opened, we got mainly just grays, greens, a couple of blues. But we did get over 350 tickets from it. So we're going to go ahead and open a total of three of these. That way we can open up one last birthday llama. 
Uh, Lucky 7 Llama isn't really a good llama to spend your V-Bucks on. We're just doing it so we can get one last birthday llama. But yeah, as you can see, we're mostly getting just blues, greens, and grays. Oh, we got one epic survivor. Okay. All right, so we just spent some V-Bucks and bought a couple of Lucky 7 Llamas. We have enough to open one last birthday llama. Let's see what we get from this last birthday llama. Honestly, if we don't get one of those mythics that I'm missing, I'm going to be slightly disappointed. All right, so we're going to have to choose between a sword and a club. Let's go ahead and get the sword. And let's see what else we... Oh, we're going to have to choose again. A uh, night cleave. Uh, let's just go ahead and get the great sword. It don't matter. Let's go ahead and see what else we get. Another thunder strike scorch. Wow. And I do already own the legendary version of this hero. So yeah, guys, when you own everything in the game, you're just going to get duplicates of heroes and weapons that you already own. Anyways, let me know in the comments which mythic hero should we recruit first, Master Grenadier Ramirez or Mega Base Kyle. So yeah, let me know which of these two you all would like to see gameplay of first. And again, be on the lookout for the new Ragnarok Mythic Outlander, which I believe is going to be coming out tomorrow. Anyways, I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.